The Moon Girl magic has run out. Yep. It's run out. Disney has decided they're going to be canceling Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur after two seasons. I watched some of Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. I thought I thought it was actually pretty interesting, you know. Certain things that I, I, I didn't dig up with, but the music and stuff was actually pretty interesting and things. So with that, what? Let's dive into what's going on here. What we want, what we very well need, the bigger picture behind all of this. This article from Cosmic Book News. Disney cancels Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur after two seasons. And another one bites the dust as Disney has canceled the Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur animated series after two seasons. The show was first released in February of 2023 and follows the adventures of 13-year-old super genius Lunella Lafayette and a 10-ton T-Rex devil dinosaur. After Lunella accidentally brings devil dinosaur into present-day New York via a time vortex, the duo works together to protect the city's Lower East Side from danger. The series was executive produced by Lawrence Fishburne, where he also voiced the Beyonder, but we obviously see Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur fail to take off. Season 2 currently concluded in August with the first half of the season, but it's learned there will be additional episodes to close the series off in 2025. Now, here's the thing about it. Eh? Like I said, I watched it. Certain things I liked, certain things I didn't. So many things I, I kind of had a problem with. I, I, didn't, I didn't really too much dig this portrayal of the Beyonder too much. He could have been, at certain times he was kind of amusing, okay, but I didn't really dig his own, his own vibe with it, but that, that was neither here nor there. Certain things they did in this show I wasn't a fan of. They kept trying to push this whole lower inside that you know the Avengers don't deal with anything like that. They have to deal with themselves, your kind of thing. It's, you got Spider-Man. Come on, you kind of had to stop pushing this thing, I think. And there were certain things, that were kind of elements they were pushing around in so that that wasn't sitting well with me. And I, and I could see why certain parents would be apprehensive about because this is pretty much driven away so much of them by now. But other than that, certain things about it were actually fun and interesting. Like I said, the music and song, I think, were actually really good and fun to listen to and stuff like that. So it did have its, it did have its, it, its merits, but... A lot of this stuff isn't, isn't working anymore because things are just not taking off the way that they're supposed to. I'll get to that in a little bit. News of Disney cancelling Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur is confirmed by the show's creator who responded and retweeted posts on a Disney Toon fan account. Um, yeah, so this is what they put here. Um, the person replied and said all of that. Um, I love this show and the entire crew to the moon and back. We made something great, said director Samantha S. Lee. Storyboard artist Siak Stang added, This show will always have a special place in my heart as my first revisionist plus morning gig. Thanks for taking a chance on me and I hope everyone enjoys the last batch. It's, it's been a real moon girl. Okay, yeah. A lot of them will come in and put all kind of stuff here and say all that stuff. Okay, no problem. Well, let me talk about something that's been going on a lot in regards to this. Uh, this article here, um, why I think, but um, the rap did it. Kids TV is dead, long live Kids TV. Talk about how a lot of the stuff is just dropping off and stuff like, you know, it didn't happen before. Okay, when you look at it, linear ratings for kids television have created over the last decade and changed the programming landscape completely. Ratings for Nickelodeon plummeted 86% from 2016 to 2023, while the Disney Channel fell 90% in the same period according to Nielsen ratings. Instead, viewers aged 2 to 17 accounted for nearly 30% of YouTube's viewership in July according to Nielsen's media distributor gauge report. And when you go here and look at this chart, 2016, right? You have um, blue is Nickelodeon, red is Disney Channel, and um, yellow is Cartoon Network, right? Cartoon Network was, 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 was already the lowest because a lot, lot, lot of the good stuff they got rid of. But Disney and Nickelodeon was still up there. 
and it started to drop off. Disney went down, Nickelodeon still stayed up, and then it just started to go down and down and down and down. Now you're reached to 2023, and this is where this is what you're getting. This is what you're getting. And the reason behind this, because I actually had so somebody, somebody said this, 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 I saw somebody say the other day that you know a lot of these stuff that they're making nowadays when it comes to like um shows and kind of thing is not really for you, it's for a younger generation. And I don't agree with that. Because and this is the problem, they think this is what the younger generation wants, and it's not actually true. A lot of the time, some of some stuff they will actually enjoy, but not all of it. And when you keep making crap and pushing your agendas and things into it, people are going to walk away. You know why YouTube is getting such a, um, a, a, a big boost of people go watching YouTube? Thing? Because one, people could watch their favorite creators on YouTube. Okay, that's one. Two, they could watch old series and stuff and things and enjoy that on YouTube. And three, they're getting more of writing to watch different things rather than the same crap you keep peddling. That's it. Look at the shows that they had before that were actually doing really good and were actually getting traction. Kids, I should say, they talk about, talk about um, 2 to 17. Even if you're just dealing with about, let's say, 10-year-olds to 17-year-olds, they actually want good things. This is why do you think people are watching so much anime now? Because they're getting good quality stuff when it comes to the, the, the anime. Like I said before, I was actually I I I, I actually I actually think I am. I, I told the story before in another video, but I'll tell it again. I, I was taking I was taking the bus um coming coming down the road that I was taking the bus. And I'm in there and there were a bunch of school children in there and, and I'm sitting in the back and, and you know there's a there, mixture of both boys and girls school children inside of there. And they're talking about this anime and that anime and this manga and, and, and how the visuals were so good and, and someone talking and saying about how, um, you know, did you see the last episode of Demon Slayer? That was so amazing. Did you check out um did you check out the episode of Black Clover? Uh, and all sorts of different stuff they're talking about. It's like, oh, it's so amazing, so good, and all this all this stuff and all this thing. And then somebody mentioned comic book. Somebody actually said, What is the last time you read a comic book? And a, and a literal cloud just hang over all of them. People were like, I don't even read that crap anymore. At least what they're doing, and, 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 and all the things I have been talking about, how bad comic books are now. They started to literally spot out all these things. And then and then it went it went on to it went, went on now to even like normal like like TV program and the talking about the way, you know. Um a lot of these shows I don't think ain't even good anymore. This is a bunch of crap they keep putting out over and over. I don't wanna see that. I I'm believe to do I rather watch um um YouTube. Or check out the anime because that 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 actually good. Like, this is the thing about you're not making good things anymore. You're making things to cleverly push your agenda and message. And fans don't want it. People are, people are, people are literally actively telling you, no, we don't want this. We're not watching it. We're walking away. And you see this chart here. This chart shows how much kids are not watching these things anymore because they know what good quality stuff is and they don't want to see this nonsense if you all go back to making good quality shows you won't have this anymore so yeah moon girl and devil dinosaur it was okay i will not say it was it was okay funny at times but did not make me um, did not hit the mark at all it kind of come like this um this cartoon that works show superhero girls the, well, the um, DC superhero girls. Certain parts of that was funny. I, I, I watched some of the episodes, a little part of it was funny. But overall, the show was just deemed to push this thing because it literally made all the all the male superheroes look look like a bunch of incompetent morons, and many superhero girls look look like you know they were so fantastic. It didn't work. It did not work at all. And this is same thing when it comes to the the the, the um, girl and devil dinosaur. The show had promise, but you keep you kept screwing it up, and this is what happened. So yeah, Moon Girl magic is gone. K 
kids are not watching Nickelodeon, Disney Channel, or Cartoon Network anymore. And, and this getting cancelled is a sign of the times. People are tired of these things. People just want to be entertained and you won't do that. So they're walking away. That's that. That's our wrap on it. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. If you have a different opinion, I'd love to hear it. If you like me, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.